morning, Mrs. Parsons. Good morning, Doctor. Tell me, what do you know of hysteria? Nothing. In its most severe forms, it demands drastic measures. Good, steady pressure. That's the key. I'm keen for help. Thank you. Oh, come on! Not enough hands to do the work. I have been offered a position by London's leading specialist in women's medicine. Oh, oh God. Good God, man. What a grip. It is strictly a medical treatment that stimulates the nervous system. Oh. Who is she? She's his daughter. It's a very difficult case, that one. It must be difficult pleasuring half the women in the city. Pleasure has nothing to do with it, I can assure you. Mm. I suppose that depends on whether you're over the table or on it. Bye! Isn't she a Chinese firecracker? I must find some way to attend to these women properly. I believe the French had quite a bit of luck using their tongues. Oh, no. My new generator. Oh, my God. Makes all, all, all warm and tingly. <laughs> oh, that's it! <laughs> Now, who should we try it on? We are not going to take a dangerous electrical device and press it against a lady's most gentle areas. <laughs> oh, are you hurt? No. Oh, right there. <laughs> what do you call that little thing? Well, I was calling it the feather duster. But I think it's something quick, so the girl knows what to ask for. There is a social revolution of foot! Women will no longer be denied our rightful place. <laughs> this is my electrical assistant. Everything all right, Mrs. Castellari? <laughs> what about the squealer? You have invented a machine that does harm to no one and makes anyone who comes into contact with it feel better. Do you think it'll catch on? I have no idea, but imagine if everyone had one. 